So I've chosen my rear shock and I've gone for a Hagen. Now I had the 250 for about four or five years. Fantastic little bike. Um, with the suspension on the 250, you could wind the back down a bit, a bit more preload, um, and it was okay. It was the front which was weak. So I went for the Hyper Pro on the 250. It was okay, but it kept blowing seals. Um, I weren't too happy with that. Now with the 300, it seems pretty much the opposite. The spring on the rear is weak and the damping's just as bad really. If you're riding over a lot of whoops, it's like a Bronco. But that's if you're riding hard. For gentle trail riding, there's not a lot wrong with it. So first thoughts were all the suspension needs changing. But now I'm not so sure. I think with the rear kicking up bad, it was putting a lot of weight on the front, causing the front to bottom out. So it's kind of like that rock and horse motion. So after speaking with a friend who's got a Hagen, um, I gave them a ring and they want to know how much your riding weight is, you know, fully geared up, uh, what sort of style of riding you've got, do you take a pillion? Um, and they feed all that information into the shop, really. So uh, I kind of thought that was really personal, really good. With the old shop, did we get some serious kick ups at Coming off these loops. Oh, that's so much better. It's a shame I didn't turn off the rock steady motion on the camera so you could really see how whoopy this is. You can adjust your preload here and your damping adjuster is here, which is set roughly two turns out. But they said you won't need to adjust it, it's set up for you. Just start off with that. As usual, the camera doesn't show you these whoops very well. But I can assure you, uh, with the old spring, I'd probably be doing a flying W by now. And because the rear is not kicking up on every whoop, the front oh. is much better now. The front seems fine. Unbelievable. So I am so pleased with this. Really pleased. It's uh, brilliant. Hagen, 325 quid. Well spent. See how I get on. That was phenomenal. I can't believe how I went down there. That's nearly as good as my KTM. So I may put a front spring in at a later date, but I'm in no hurry. The 250 is a bloody good bike, but this 300 is rapidly becoming my unicorn.